What's going on YouTube? How is everybody today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good to hear. Uh, so today we're going to talk about this band from London, England uh, that formed in 1992. They're called The Herbalizer. Uh, this is their fifth album released on Ninja Tune Records in 2002. It's called Something Wicked This Way Comes, Herbalizer. Uh, they play this brand of hip-hop that incorporates a lot of like live instrumentation and samples. It has a lot of jazz, a lot of funk. It's supposed to be like innovative and forward-thinking, you know, this kind of weird blunted out hip-hop stuff. Uh, it's supposed to have upwards of nine members and stuff too. Nine members in this band, I guess. Uh, it's got a lot of strings, a lot of funky guitar, a lot of horn sections, trumpets, saxophones, that kind of thing. It's got this very cinematic 70s feel. Like it feels like it's the soundtrack from this kind of like 70s action movie or like a cop movie or like maybe a black exploitation movie, some sort of movie like that. It's also got this very cartoony side to it where it'll have like these weird kind of like, I don't know if it's supposed to be funny little noises, like a kazoo and a wah-wah or something like that. Like something straight out of like Warner Brothers or something like that, along with like pianos and all the rest of that. Some sparse sampling and scratching on there too to make it more hip hop ish I guess. Uh, it's, uh, it's like half the album, maybe a third of the album. It's got a guest MC. It's got MCs from... Uh, it's got a guy called Raka Iriescence, Iriescence from Dilated Peoples. This guy named Blade, who's an Iranian-born British rapper. Uh, a girl named Wildflower, who is also British. She's been on like Roots Maneuver albums. Somebody else, I think. Uh, Fi the Life Cipher, who is this British trio, I guess, and they were on Gorillaz albums and DJ Vadim. And it's also got MF Doom, which is probably the best track on this album. Like he really. I don't know, he suits the music pretty well. Doom, I don't know, it's a great track on here, but... Yeah, the rest of the album, like, the instrumentals on here, like, I guess they're well-performed, it's got good production, and it's very precise, very predictable, very safe. It's all very mid-tempo, sounds like a spy movie sometimes. It has, like, some quasi-interesting production where they'll, like, incorporate bongos or something like that. And, like, you know, it's got cellos and, like, three violin players and stuff like that. Like, it's very cinematic, but it's nothing special. It's nothing that's going to make your jaw drop. It's nothing that's totally amazing. It's some well-played, like, soundtrack music. It's nothing dark and menacing, like the cover or the back here would make you believe. Like, it's something, like, kind of scary is going to happen. Something kind of shocking or menacing is about. But, yeah, not at all. Very uh, kind of like pff, mediocre at best album. And the songs with the guest MCs, other than the MF Doom track, weren't that good. Like, it was nothing amazing at all. Like, I guess they're good lyricists and stuff like that, and they're quasi creative, but it was not amazing. Like, I don't know. I wasn't too impressed. And I'm not trying to be like a snob or anything. It was just very, like, meh. I'll put some of the tracks in the description. You can check them out. But yeah. Like, it's got some, like, interesting production, I guess, but yeah, it wasn't innovative or forward-thinking. This album did get a lot of reviews, so there are people who like this album a lot, or are giving it, like, five-star ratings and stuff, but it's nothing amazing. It's, like, it's stuff you've all heard before. It's got nothing new on it. It's not done in an especially new or different way or anything that would make it, like, you know, noteworthy in any sense. Like, the only thing I really liked in this album was the MF Doom track, and the rest of it is just kind of meh to me, but... And not much of the way artwork, the insides just got all the credits there, some green, some lady's face in white. Hooray, Herbalizer. Making an album based off the quote from Shakespeare's Macbeth, like, I don't know, but yeah, it didn't have any menace. A lot of it sounded like kind of like more Chiba at times, but... Uh, it's 13 songs, 54 minutes worth of music, I don't know, I didn't... Didn't really, I like, it was, sounded good, but I didn't really dig it. There's nothing special, nothing too memorable on here, nothing engaging at all, for sure. Uh, 2002 Ninja Tune Records, Something Wicked This Way Comes by The Herbalizer. What about it?